record. All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Care Consultants uh, Preferred Provider Business Rollout Call. We, I'm very excited tonight. My name is Jeff Chiamalva, for those of you who don't know me. And uh, I am the Vice President of Sales uh, for Virtual Care Partners. And my wife, Lisa, is the Vice President of Partner Success. And uh, we are very excited tonight. I know tonight we have people that are in the business only on this call. We have no guests. And we are going to talk to you about our rollout that we are so very, very excited to present to all of you tonight because we really believe tonight is really the start of, of something that I believe will take over the United States and really change the course of healthcare. Bold statement, right? Well, I just made it. And, and to kick off this call, I want you to uh, watch this introductory video uh, that we're gonna be able to market, to really share with physicians all around the country on how to get on board, on board with what we're about to roll out. So without further ado. is I'm going to stop share. <laughs> I'm going back to my screen here and I'm going to get a thumbs up from Dr. Dan that I did this right. Do you see my screen, Doc? Yes. Perfect, perfect. So that piece right there, everybody, just so you understand, that is marketing. And if you paid attention, I want you to really pay attention to what we are really emphasizing to the doctor. Increase your patient base. Increase your patient base. And that's really what the preferred provider program can help healthcare practitioners do, not only for themselves, but for their family. Because you gotta understand what physicians are facing, right? They, they, they trade time for dollars. And what we're gonna show them is how to free up their time and add more dollars to their practice. So what I want to do now, because we have a lot of information to share with you, I want to turn this call over um, to Dr. Dan McDyer, okay? Uh, really, at this point, with all of our VCCs, he really needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one, okay? Dr. Dan McDyer is one of our first investors in Cary, okay? Dr. Dan McDyer has just been promoted to Clinical Innovation Officer for, for Cary Health. But Dr. Dan McDyer is a board certified OBGYN, and he's been in practice uh, for well over, is it well over 20 years? And um, it's his vision, and it's really his um, ideas that he's really bringing to carry because he understands what the physicians are facing. And he's gonna do a quick business overview, okay, on why we understand we have something very special here. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Dan McDyer. Thanks so much, Jeff. And uh, I, am, I am, too, extremely pleased to be here with you all tonight to initiate the release of what is the first in many, many great innovations that we are creating at Cary Health. Um, and uh, if you've been on some calls with us before, I'm going to quickly review some things that uh, you may or may not have seen or heard before. Um, if, this, if you're new to this, um, this is going to be really important for you. 
um, to see just to get a background on what physicians and patients are going through. There's a little gap that's developing in patient care, and this program we're releasing to you tonight, you're going to see is the first band-aid and the first bridge to bring the, the patients and the physicians back together, which is one of our goals at, at Cary Health. So just a little background on what's going on in medicine. I've been in practice for 24 years now, and I've seen tremendous change, and it's only accelerating at an ever-increasing pace year by year, month by month. And really, that's giving us physicians a sense that things are just spiraling out of control. Um, it's leading to increased frustrations. I'm, I'm really kind of a pretty laid-back guy, but with all these regulations and the disruption, especially of the electronic medical record inter intervening in my ability to develop, to, to deliver adequate health care and outstanding health care to my patients, honestly, guys, I'm embarrassed. I get a little vile at times. I get so frustrated when that slows me down because I just, I'm on this treadmill. I have to see so many patients in a day just to bring home the nut so that my family can has, have a decent lifestyle for all that I've worked for my entire life. And it's very, very disappointing to see this declining reimbursement affect the volume that I have to see because I always, always love to educate my patients and spend time with them. But it's, it's being eclipsed by all these outside factors that are out of my control. And there are also other things that we're experiencing as physicians, which many of my colleagues may not yet be aware of, but they will be very, in very short order. There is patient attrition occurring. Our patients that we just give our lives to are being stolen from us by outside entities, which we'll talk about in other presentations, but this is going on day in and day out. And also, physicians, with all of this frustration building up, they're giving up their practices. They're selling them to corporate entities or to hospital systems, and then what ends up happening thereafter is their commodities. Those businesses don't understand the physician-patient relationship. They can care less. They think I could be replaced by any Tom, Dick, and Jane that has an OBGYN board-certified degree. That's not true because it's me and my patient that matter. So what – there you go. What are my needs as a physician to overcome those scenarios that I'm experiencing and to break out of the bonds that are being placed upon me? I need practice growth. I need an ancillary income. I need to find a way as a physician to earn money, not by just trading my time for money, but by having other people in my office earn money at the same time I'm working or other, other elements of my practice that can earn money for me. Or I need to learn how to earn money for things I'm already doing for free. And there's quite a bit of that going on. Um, and really what I, what I want to do is I, as a physician, my ideal practice would be to find those patients, those select patients who really respect what I do and really respect the fact that we can build a bond together and pay more for my services because my payment is almost out of my control. I'm very fortunate to be a, a member of a very large group of OBGYNs, but still after eight years of battling the insurance companies, I still get paid 20% less today than I did when I entered practice 24 years ago for hysterectomy. Crazy. I'm not, I'm not worse than I used to be. I'm much better. Next slide, please, Jeff. Now we've got the other side of the healthcare equation, patient problems. What are they suffering from in this whole scenario? They're getting less personalized care, quick impersonal appointments. They feel rushed. The doctor doesn't have time to learn about them or spend time explaining the therapies that they're uh, instituting for the patients. There are long, long, long wait times in the office or to get an appointment. The patients have to miss work when they're sitting there. The waiting room is waiting to be seen. It's hard to get the appointments when immediate care is needed. They're, they're often unavailable. The doctors, it's, I think it's like an average of 21 days to see a doctor when you have an acute issue. And the other big problem that we're working on at Cary Health is their doctor is not available to take care of them after hours. Huge issues. Next slide, please, Jeff. So what do the patients need in healthcare to make their lives better and their lives healthier and their relationships healthier with their physicians? They need access to their doctor or to their doctor's colleagues after hours so they don't have to seek care in these impersonal, very expensive situations like urgent care centers and emergency rooms. They need a more personal relationship with their doctor. Most people want that. Do you, do you ever, I mean, you may not pay attention to this, but I sure do. I love it when a patient's eyes kind of light up and they say, my doctor, with a sense of pride. And that's diminishing over time. They want on-time appointments. They don't want to sit in the office and wait because many of the patients are, are missing work to come see us. They want same-day appointments when they have urgent care matters that need attention immediately. And they want affordable, high-quality care. Next slide, please, Jeff. So that's what we're here to talk about, guys. The solutions that carry health 
is developing to overcome all of those issues that exist. And those, that's just a thimble full of what actually goes on. But I just wanted to review that for you to put you in the mindset as to why what we're releasing you, to you tonight to utilize to market is part of the solution. It's a major part of the solution, not only for physicians and patients, but for you to earn a lot of money, which is very, very important because you're going to spend your time learning how to market this. Um, so I have the great pleasure and pride to introduce a very good friend of mine who I met just about two years ago, Matt Wanderer, who is the CEO of Carry Health. And it's his vision that I have latched on to and helped assist in growing this platform out to where we are today and where we're going in the future. Matt and I met through a common friend who many of you know, Lou Gallardo. We, he hooked us up on a phone call when Lou and I were working on another business venture. And Matt and I really struck it off very well. We had a lot of common thought processes and I felt really blessed to meet him as I've been working with him over time here. I just want to describe a little bit about him, give you a little history. Um, he's an extremely accomplished businessman. He's taken several startup companies to the top of the Inc. 500 fastest growing companies in the country list. He's extremely successful there. His background, he, had, he, he obtained his Master's of Business Administration from the NYU Stern School of Business. And most importantly, one of the things that may have affected his life and our lives at the most in the future here is that he got a fellowship, a very prestigious fellowship from the London School of Economics, during which he took a trip to India as part of his studies. And that's where Matt saw telemedicine being delivered in a very efficient fashion from the urban centers to the rural communities where people didn't have access to healthcare. And that was diametrically opposed to what he had just done with his mother-in-law. He created a concierge medical practice for his mother-in-law where patients were paying $1,000 a month to see her. She limited her practice to a few patients, but they pay $1,000 a month to have that rapid access to her. So he thought at some point in time, when I finish up all these other businesses I'm working on, there's a better, there's got to be a way to blend those two opposite ends of the spectrum and make something like that available to the masses. And that's what we've accomplished with Carry Health. He's the man with the vision. We are very grateful to have him leading our company. And with that, Matt, I want to introduce you to the group and uh, let us hear what you have to say as to what we're developing at Carry Health and how this solves those problems. Thank you. And thank you, man. Um, I, I got to say, uh, similarly, I, I, I feel honored to be working with you on this journey. And I can't believe we're, we're two years into this. Um, it's going fast. And tonight's a big night. Um, I want you all to know that you know this is this is not a little uh, one-off moment for the company. This is this is a big night. This is something Dan and I have been working really hard for for a long time. And you know what, what we're what we're going to show you this evening is really the, the flagship product of the system. Um, we're going to show you where where it all comes together. And this is this is a tight group, like Jeff said. Where this is open call. This is, a, this is a, a closed call for folks that, that we already know understand what we're doing. Um, you're going to have the chance to understand first sort of where the real action is for the doctor, how the doctor can take advantage of the platform in order to earn real serious money and, and really open up their own, not, not just, not just from, a, from a financial standpoint, but from a time and a freedom standpoint. You hear what Dan's describing. And it's not an isolated incident. It's, it's universal across, across the nation. Uh, and, and it's really a big piece of what we came to solve. Like Dan said, you know, this, this kind of hit me as a concept when I was in India. But it was, it was, it was in reflection back to, to what I was seeing in the U.S. in the healthcare system. And you know, in, in large part talking about, you know, the, the high quality of care that the wealthy get here. Right? I, I, was, I was working with my mother-in-law in New York City with a, a patient base that was uh, predominantly, you know, c celebrity and royalty. And, and, and they were healthy and they were really happy and they loved their healthcare system. But they had, you know, 24 seven access to one of the world's best doctors. So what's not to love? It, it's like, you know, it, it, that's exactly what everyone wants it, is, is real access. No one wants to wait a month to sit in a, in a crowded waiting room and have people cough on them for an hour. It's, that's terrible. Um, and so this, what we're going to show you tonight is, is the, the strategy that allows not every doctor, we, we've got, we've got our, our free solution for, for everyone, but this is going to be for the doctors who want to go a little bit further 
and want to embark on a mission into real profitability and real freedom, they're, they're going to have the, the opportunity to reduce perhaps the amount of patients they see each day, but increase the quality of each visit and, and spend more time with the patients who really care about them. It's, 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 it's so simple. It, it sounds silly, but, it, but it's, it's wildly innovative. And, and it's, it's, it's commonly described these days as concierge medicine. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a fancy word for just better access and, and committed care. And so what, what Dan was describing, you know, my epiphany in India was that we could do this in a more efficient way, that it didn't need to cost $1,000 a month. What if it could cost 500 bucks? What if it could cost a lot less than that? It could, and, and we just had to come up with all the tools to make it easy for everyone, and that's what we've done. So you know, tonight we're, we're gonna go into some level of, really not that much detail, but, but enough to, to get you a sense of you know, why this is better for the doctor, why this is way better for the patient, why the patient's gonna want it, and, and what does the doctor need to do to be successful here and find real freedom in their practice and, and happiness and, and fulfillment. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll share with you in, in here, you'll, you'll see some, some statistics and numbers that I've experienced in, in business in real life um, about what it takes to, to make this happen and to take this, this doctor on a journey from you know, what is often 40 patients a day down to something that might be more like four patients a day. All right, and, I don't know, and, but, but comfortable meetings where people are, are really getting to know each other and sharing the details of their life where, where preventative wellness occurs. Um, that, that's where we're trying to go. Um, and so, you know, some of the things that, that we'll talk about here are, are, you know, not easy. This isn't, this isn't an overnight get rich quick kind of thing. This is a journey. And what we're looking for here when we go out to the field with, with this product are the high quality doctors, the serious doctors who understand what we're trying to accomplish and who are looking for ways to really enhance their own lives and, and increase their own freedom. This is a map to get there. We've made it really easy. A lot of doctors fought the, the difficult battle. My mother-in-law fought this challenge of, of figuring this all out alone. And, and alone, the, this patient to practice conversion is lonely and it's hard, it's expensive. If the doctor has to build their own website and figure out how to deal with Google and, and manage you know, a full-time social media gig, it's a lot. It's expensive. It, it, you know, that, that's $10,000, $20,000 a month and a lot of focus taken away from the practice. We've tried to, to create a system that, that really takes the majority of that off the doctor's shoulders and simplifies it and, and makes it more affordable for the patient and the doctor. So um, I'd like to I'd like to turn this call back to someone who's hey, Matt, before, Matt, before you yeah. do that, if you would please. I don't know, you know, I know I've dealt with physicians in the past, but I know you are very in tune. Can you just tell, remember, these are the VCCs. Can you let them know what the doctors are facing today that they didn't face 10 years ago and why this program is something that they, 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 they want and they need? Yeah, I mean, and so it, it's, it's funny how similar what we're trying to deliver in, in, in our flagship product with the, the concierge service, it, it looks a lot like the way medicine was delivered in the 50s and 60s. Right, we we have an old video where where we've got the, the the doctor walking in with his black bag, right? And he's coming to see the family, and he's he's gonna he's gonna talk with the mom, and then he's gonna sit with the kid, right? And that's how we in our heads, I think we all still think of healthcare that way, but the reality, like like Dan was saying earlier, is so different now. It's 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 terrible. It's it's frustrating for everyone. You see how frustrated Dan is with this, and he's not a guy who frustrates very easily. He, this is a world-class marathon athlete. He's not someone who gets tired and, and, and cries and whines about stuff. He's tough. And, and you know, the, when I see Dan frustrated, I'm like, oh, God, something's wrong uh, because he doesn't easily get frustrated. But when you've been, you know, when you've been at the top of your class your whole life, when you've been working harder than everyone else around you since you were five, right, you were the kid who, who – who stayed after school and studied extra hard. You were the kid who fought to get into the best undergrad. You were the kid who didn't go out to the parties at the frat house. All right, you were the kid, you were the, at that point you were the young man who, who doubled down on himself and, and bet on getting into medical school, right? And then now you're in medical school, doubled down again, fought to get that residency, didn't sleep for a couple of years, didn't get paid, didn't sleep. A couple of years in, fight, fights even further, gets that fellowship. All right, a couple more years, no money, no sleep. Now, you, now you're out in the world, 
right? You're out in the world and, 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 and you've got this debt load on your back because you've been working twice as hard as everyone else for the last 15, 20 years to get here. And, and, and that requires, you know, student debt and, and then you're, you're spit out into the world. And the only way to deal with that is to take a job. Now it is the only way to deal with that is to take a job in a big box health system where you're going to be, working. even if you go independent, you're going to be working for a hundred hours a week for the rest of your life, trying to, trying to, you know, extinguish that debt and then live up to, to, you know, the promise that, that you imagined for yourself as a child going into all of that. Right. So the, the toll that that takes on the doctor is tremendous. And, and we see really troubling things in America right now. We see physician suicide rates at something like three times the national average. We see, you know, we see, we see doctors and at the divorce rate like four times the national average. It's, it's very hard for a doctor to achieve the, the time and money freedom that it takes to have a good relationship with their wife or their kids or, or you know, or, 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 or to take, you know, travel and be able to go do the things they want to do. Very difficult, very, very challenging. So all those things, you know, have, have kind of over the last, you know, few decades just intensified. And now it's at a real breaking point where, where you know, doctors are, are not becoming doctors. You know, kids who want to go into medicine, the parents are saying, hey, hold on a second. Like maybe maybe go into business. Maybe maybe you learn about the internet, right? Maybe you do something else because it, this looks like a long hard grind and and it looks pretty expensive and scary. So, um, hey Matt, one more. I, I, I got to do this because I want my VCCs to get the same questions coming up. I mean, let me just read it to you. Can you ask Matt specifically to list a few of the top reasons why Carry Health? stands out in the sea of telehealth company. What specifically makes us different? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I see that. Um, and, and Gus, I, it's good to see your, your name there, man. Um, so listen, it, it's, it's really, uh, as, as you dig past the, the surface of things and you start to, to, to look at what you're really getting or, or as, a, as, a, as a distributor, what you could give to a doctor you're talking about apples and oranges, right? We didn't recreate Teladoc. This is not a Me Too offering. This is there. There's nothing similar to this. You, you believe me that there are a lot of telehealth offerings out there. There's nothing that kind of is similar to this. This is its own animal. If there was any way to to do this in an easier way, we would have done it. We wouldn't have spent years and millions of dollars to build from the ground up a totally proprietary ecosystem. Right, we've got developers all around the world working all around the clock to make this possible. This is no little you know, laughing matter. What we're building right now is a game changer, you know, game set match. And 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 so let me let me answer answer the question correctly though. How how do you compare this to you know the many telehealth? Well, so let, let's look at Teladoc, right? It's it's the eight hundred pound gorilla in the room, and and let's look at Carry Health. Carry Health is designed to be implemented at the practice level for free. If, if people want the, the basic product, right, the doctor can access it for free and they can begin to use it, they can test it, they can get comfortable and they can begin to deploy it to their own patients, all right? If, if, you, if you want to, as a doctor, work with Teladoc, and I have friends who are doctors who do work with Teladoc, um, the, the, the proposition is very different. What you're doing as a doctor with Teladoc, you're signing up to sit in front of your computer at night and wait for a random person to ring you, all right? And when you do, Guess how much they pay you? They pay $18 right now. I see Dan laughing. It, it, it's, it's terrible. You know, the, 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 the number of doctors, and we, I think we've got about 1,200 doctors right now on our wait list, all right? They're, they're on our wait list because they don't think it's funny. I mean, they work too hard to get paid $18 to sit around and wait for their computer to beep. You know, it's, it's, it's not their own practice. They're not, they're not investing in that, that doctor patient relationship that we know is the core of American healthcare. They're investing in, this is a publicly traded company that's using doctors like widgets, right? It's, it's their, 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 the 1099 relationship. They've got the doctor working far below minimum wage. This is far less than the doctor would make that evening at McDonald's. Let's be honest. So it, it's, it's, it's apples and oranges, right? This is, it, it, Carrie is 
for, for your doctor to relate to their own practice. And as you'll see tonight, you know, we're, we're working on, on adding a bunch of additional features where we're going to be a lot more than passive partners in your income doctor. We're aggressive, active partners who are going to help you skyrocket to your goals and, and help you go there 10 times faster than you could go there on your own with about one third the money. And, and I know because I've, I've been through this, like I said, professionally a number of times, I supported nearly 4,000 concierge doctors at Restore Health, and, and I got to know many of them very well. And, and I got to understand what their pain points were and, and what the challenges were. Marketing was the biggest one. Marketing is is the one that, that no one can quite wrap their heads around. And you guys can offline talk to your doctor in your town, ask him how his marketing's going, ask him what, what, what she's spending on her marketing uh, this month, and how's it going? What's the, what's the conversion rate? How's the practice? Because it's tough, right? It's really tough. We've got a big team and a growing team, and, and, and for us, it's complex. We can manage it. We can manage it for them as well. For us to, to create economies of scale and do this on a national level is exactly what we're born to do. This is, this is guys like me live for this kind of challenge. This is what my brain is meant for. I couldn't treat an, an ill person, you know, to, to save my life. I, that's why I need my doctor. So, um, oh, that's an answer. Perfect. Thank you. I mean, that, that, that's, that's all we got, Matt. Perfect cool. job. Awesome. Cool. Well, listen, guys, stick with this presentation. Just get started. We're going to go quick because there's so much to cover, but um, you couldn't be in better hands. Uh, Jeff Giamal was an amazing guy, and he, he's, 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 he's telling you all the right stuff. I'm, I'm learning from him every Saturday, and he, he's about to give you guys some, some serious knowledge here. So, Jeff, uh, you guys are in great hands. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, sir. And um, uh, Dan and Matt, thank you uh, for, um, for really sharing with everybody really the vision. And really what we shared with you guys is, first of all, why carry, right? And, and if you heard Matt's explanation, can I, can I just cut to the bottom line? You guys know I, I talk frank to you all. It's money. Why are we different? Money. Doctors do not go to school, right, to go broke. Yes, they like helping their patients. But when, 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 when they're not being paid what they're worth, we have a problem. And that's why the rate of suicide is three times higher than everybody else. Because it's called corporate downsizing. They're just doing it to physicians. So we're going to help solve that problem. And here's the thing, right? If we can help solve the doctor's problems, and let me ask you this. If we help solve the VCC problems, see, we don't talk about that. But see, I know your problems. And I want, here's my goal. You, everybody's been asking me, what's your goal, Jeff? I want to make this your last stop. Did you all hear me? I want to make this, Carrie and Virtual Care Partners, your last stop. But here's what I have to have you all do before I even go into the presentation. And that is, you have to buy in mentally that this is your last stop. Otherwise, if the money is not coming in fast enough, you're gonna look for your next opportunity and maybe that's why we've never ever built anything. And I'm telling you, if you understand the concept I'm about to roll out, this could be your last stop. Because every single one of you who've been in this industry for any period of time and maybe been in different companies, You've all talked about residual income, but how many people have actually really earned consistent residual income? And let me share with you why, okay? First of all, you didn't stay long enough. And Matt said it, and I love, I listened intently. He said, this is not get rich quick, but it is get rich. Because I know the power of a membership sale. And the reason why we're different is simply because of that membership sale. Someone gets on a membership, they stay on the membership. If they stay on a membership, that creates residual income. And this is what we're trying to implement. And I want you all to embrace that before I go into this. Because what we're about to roll out now, okay, with our preferred provider program, will help you increase 
the retention rate. And when I say retention rate, I want you all to think about residual income. When I say retention, you think residual. Because without retention, you don't have residual. And our preferred provider program with our concierge offering is going to help you with your retention rate. So the, become the preferred provider in your city. Watch your practice thrive. Now watch. you got to put yourself in the mindset now of a physician. Dr. McDyer did an unbelievable job sharing with you what the problems the physician faces. So as a carry preferred provider, you will not only attract local patients, but the digital marketing team will implement a marketing strategy to convert your patients into paying members. Now, let me tell you how you're gonna get your doctor's attention. And I'm telling you, yes, you could talk about retention, you could talk about memberships, but we are putting physicians on a very realistic business plan to add $30,000 a month in additional income into their practice. And you're gonna see how we're gonna do that. An extra $30,000 a month. Now, for all of you, you must use the wording and verbiage business plan. You can't make income claims. So I use the word business plan. A participate in a Google AdWords campaign. Remarketing campaign to drive new patients, this is their buzzword, to the provider site. Email marketing, social media, optimization, preferred placement and carry search results. Targeted online advertising campaigns to attract new patients for virtual and office-based visits. Now, here's, here's the offering. Right now, we are forming our map, and I'm gonna show you the visual. And we want doctors now to claim their spot. This offering doesn't officially start until October, but the urgency is to be first in your zip code. First in your zip code. So a doctor can take advantage of what I'm calling the pre-sale summer land grab. Our marketing team will get in touch with you and set up your personalized campaign to bring new patients and engage your current ones. Watch your practice grow while you are re recognized as a virtual care leader in your city. Now, the cost of this program. Now, I wanna make sure you guys understand something because there's been some, some um, confusion out there with the VCCs. We have a free program. A doctor could take advantage of our freemium program. And when, when they become credential, I'm touching on it, Dan, okay? It's $199. We've got, we come up with the price to become credentialed. They could offer this program for free and they could sign up their patients on our memberships. This what I'm rolling out, that's not going away. Everything we have presented to you is in place. Please hear that. The preferred provider program, and I'm telling you, doctors have egos. And when you could provide them with being number one, two, or three in their city, the offering that we have is like a no-brainer. It's $39.99, $4,000 to, to be a preferred provider. Now, let me explain to you the monthly fee, okay? This is a group advertising co-op is what this is. Because if a doctor spends $999, you're very limited to what you can help with that doctor, what you, what, what you can help do that doctor do, sorry, okay? But if you had 100 doctors throwing $1,000, you could really take this advertising co-op and market the doctor. This is why this is ingenious. So for $4,000, I could be a preferred provider, and for $999 a month, 
I'm going to have new patients and I'm going to be the doctor on the map that's providing this type of care. Now, guys, I know you know my background, a lot of you, but I'm telling you, you have to be very comfortable and very proud and have a belief system when you go out there because you're going to have to present this program. Now, the way you're going to present is you're gonna present the free program, but you're gonna get them on the information so the experts like Dr. McDyer, okay, will present the program to them. You just need to go out there and open the doors. That's all you're gonna to need to do. But I'm telling you, to me, this is a land grab that I know without a doubt, and we have some lofty goals. We wanna put 2,000 doctors on this program. Okay, before the end of the year, 2,000 doctors simply on the concierge program to fill up our map. And this is the essence of the preferred, preferred provider program. I got to say that five times, okay, to get better at it. But now, I know you want to know the doctor, okay? The doctor could go out there. I'm going to show you that business plan in a second. And he could put an extra $30,000 a month with the conversion rate. But I want to show you the power for you all, okay? The virtual care consultants. Because quite frankly, I just want to know what's in it for Jeff, okay? Now, you guys know I, I'm the vice president of sales, okay? But when I was a distributor, I knew, wanted to know what it meant for me. So watch. You go out there and you bring on a preferred provider. And I wanna be clear here, okay? When you bring on another virtual care consultant, it's $399, right? And you know that you can make up to 50% of that $399. That only exists when you bring on a virtual care consultant, $399, okay? Now, you can make up to 50%. When you bring on a preferred provider, we want to pay the entire genealogy. We want everybody behind this. So when $4,000 is done, the person that brought the doctor in makes 800 bucks. Boom, 800. Beneath that person, right, or above that person who's the second level makes 400. If that doctor came in on your third level, you made 200. If that doctor came in on your fourth level, that's 120 bucks. Your fifth level, 80 bucks. Your, your, your sixth or seventh level, you make $40 every time a doctor converts to our preferred provider program. I'm gonna call it the three Ps the 3P program. So understand, now watch this everybody. What if you just had in your entire organization 10 doctors being added to your entire genealogy? Well, based on where they are, you could add a zero to these numbers. 8,000, okay, 400 bucks to $8,000 with 10. Well, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in thousands of these. So this is excitement. This is enthusiasm, okay? When you're able to bring a person or a, a physician in, healthcare provider that takes advantage of this, okay? I don't think there's any question on the power of a provider being added into the genealogy, okay? The entire genealogy gets paid based on what level that doctor comes in at, okay? Now, the concierge program. Okay, let me share with you. Now, this is the doctor. Pretend you're a doctor now. Everybody, put your, you went to school, right? You're busting your butt, right? You're not making what you used to make, right? You're struggling. You're barely making six figures a year. And now we're going to show you how to take your, 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 your practice and turn it into concierge. Achieve the time and financial freedom you deserve while elevating your care by offering a VIP concierge program to your patients. Doc, 
This is what your patients are looking for. You got to separate yourself. You got to become different. We'll help you and staff you with leading edge tools, proven marketing strategy, resources and ongoing support so you can give your patients highly individualized medical care along with an enhanced level of customer service and attention. That's what I want. I want a doctor to say more than hi to me and in and out of their practice in three minutes. Now watch this, patients pay. This is the difference. Remember, the freemium doctor is only offering $29 single, $49 family, correct? Up to five, you know that. Doctor makes 20%. The doctor that embraces this program can offer another level of care, which is called concierge, and it's 99 a month. You guys, I gotta tell the story. Five years ago, we had a concierge doctor in Orange County, California. Five years ago, he was charging 400 a month. 400, and I had it. And there was nothing like it. Here, $99 a month to enroll, unlimited access to carry platform to schedule virtual, virtual consultations with you, annual wellness visit, next day appointments, quarterly follow-up. Now, we're going to enhance this, but right now, this is what the patient's getting for $99 a month. Now, let me break it down for you. Please listen. Out of the 99, the doctor keeps 50. Out of the 99, the doctor keeps 50. Your focus is to get that doctor making money. You know why? Because you get paid on conversions. That's why. So, patient base of 2,400. We know without a doubt, this is from Matt Wanderer's experience in concierge medicine the retention rate is much higher 25 percent 25 percent that means 600 members 600 patients look what the doctor's earning that number is wrong it's 30,000 it's 29 it's 30,000 a month just on the sick just do the math 600 patients, he's making $50 per patient, $30,000 a month. Now, show me a family practice internist that makes $300,000 a month, but they have the patient base to do it. There's no doubt about it. So this is, this is, remember, you're in it for the doctor. And if you do what's right for the doctor and you get that conversion rate, like we're going to do and market this doctor, Okay, now watch what it can mean for you all. So I put together what it means for you. That same 2,400 patients at a 25% conversion, that means 600 patients, right? $99. Doctor keeps 50. So since the doctor keeps 50, please listen, you're still paid on 49. We can't pay you on what the doctor's keeping. You're paid on 49, but you're paid on 49 with a 25% conversion. 600 times 49 is 29,400 bucks. Remember, the doctor is making the 20%, right? What are you making? 2940 per practice on your personally enrolled preferred providers. <laughs> Think about that. If you had 10 personally enrolled, okay, do the math. That's 29,000. Now, what if, you're, what if your downline had them? What if that doctor was on your second level? 1470 a month. What if that doctor was on your third level? 882 a month. Now, do you understand? You guys have heard me say, we're going to add 30,000 physicians into this program. You could think this is hype. I, it doesn't really matter. I know what we're going to do. I know without a doubt we'll add 35,000 practices. What percentage of those are going to be concierge? 
So understand the power. And this is why I always say, I've never seen this kind of residual income. Because I used to build residual income one person at a time. Can I ask you all a question who's been in the industry for a while? What does one person normally lead you to? If they're good? If they're good. 10? 20? Let's say they're really good. 100? One doctor's practice. 25 to 4,000 patients. There's your difference. And now add to it, concierge. For $4,000 and $1,000 a month, you see, you know, you understand why you want to go after these guys? Because they're spending, I'm being straight with you, they're spending their money to get your retention rate up. Now, to me, that's a beautiful thing. And I know when I bring a doctor in, I'm going to give him all the results because I want $2,900 every month. And I believe we could get to 35 to 40% retention rate. There's no doubt about it. So hopefully you guys are starting to see the vision here. So let me move. What's your steps to success? Start with your doctor first. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, yeah I, I just thought I'd, I'd pipe in here for one second and, and, and add some storyline to, to these numbers, um, if you don't mind. Yeah. The, 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 the 25 percent conversion rate is something that we've found in the, in the concierge health industry is is a national average um, it, it's 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 been borne out over the last 20 years or so as concierge has become a, an accepted practice modality so okay. that's, that's not a made-up number that that's that's just the industry average um, what what is the question mark is how long is it going to take to get there and you know most people have not had serious systems around how they're, they're going to talk to the, uh, how they're going to work through their own practice uh, patient base and get to that 25% number. So we know we can get you there. It, it's like I said earlier, it's not overnight. It, it, it's a probably 12 to 24 month uh, journey. Um, but we, we bring the cost down to something that, that's so inexpensive. It's kind of no brainer for the doctor. You know, the thousand dollars is a, is a co-op fee. That, that powers the engine that makes this possible for all of the concierge providers, uh, the preferred providers. And that 25% has been shown to, to, to be the ideal number. Um, you know, Jeff could be right, it could be 35 or 40 in our model, but 25 has been the average over the last 20 years. Um, 600 patients has also proven to be the, the average. That seems to be where concierge doctors prefer to be because for the most part, they're looking to have a lot of free time. And if they could handle twice that amount and, and with, with their day, but a lot of doctors are looking for some free time with their family and to travel and to live a little bit. So this allows them to do both. Hey Matt, uh, I might add in there too that historically the typical concierge cost is one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a month, whereas this is going to be ninety nine. So it's more accessible to more people. Right. Well, and and and, and, I, and, and I, I'm glad you guys both pointed that out. But as I said. I want this to make your last stop. And guys, listen, if it takes you two, three, 24, 36 months, can you imagine the number of doctor practices you're going to have in your, in, in your organization? A hundred? So, yeah. If you, put a, if you put a hundred to that, can you see yourself think? Can you guys see yourself having a hundred? I had 6,000 in, in, in our first company, 6,000 doctors okay, in, in our entire organization. So we're being very realistic. We just didn't have this type of retention rate. That was the big difference, okay? Now, how do you do it? I'm gonna give you some very simple steps, okay? And this is from experience. Please, start with your own doctors first. Your warm market, and let me tell you where you're gonna get your traction. Get a doctor, okay? Get a doctor in, and I'm telling you, the referral network from that doctor can lead you to hundreds from one doctor. Okay, I wouldn't make your business plan to cold call doctors. Okay, unless you have the unless you have the armor to do that. So just understand that part. You're going to get traction with the people that you've been telling me all about now. With 114 people, I know I, my phone blows up with the people that you know. Please start there. Okay, use the scripts provided. I will touch on. Get them on a live healthcare provider webinar. 
or send them a recorded one. You want the tools to do the explaining. Lead them to the information as you get certified. Show them the video. Go over two-page marketing material. Get them on a three-way call. Send them your link. These are your tools and help them get enrolled. But I'm telling you right now, what you want to do is get the doctor the information. And here's a great initial script. Just walking you through this briefly. We will train more on it on our Saturday calls. Okay. If I'm sitting down and I meet Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan, have you heard about telehealth? Yes. What are you doing to implement telehealth into your practice? Well, probably nothing is what the answer is going to be. Well, Dan, I have partnered with a telehealth company that has a unique offering. Our company has a powerful platform that allows physicians to instantly connect, listen now, with their patients for free. My door opener is the free program. My door opener is the free program. If I invite you to a private insider healthcare provider webinar to understand this program, would you get on it? He's either gonna say yes or no. If he says yes, I'm gonna give him the information. If he says no, no problem, Dan. Great, I'm gonna send you a recorded webinar by our clinical innovation officer, Dr. Dan McDyer, and at your leisure, I would like you to watch it. He says, yes, when will you watch it? And that's going to allow me to follow up once he gives me when he'll watch it and set up a call or whatever information they need. You guys understand, there will be some physicians only because of your relationships that will write you a check for 4,000, no problem. In most cases, please hear me here, this will be a two to three step process. Just be prepared to set them up on the next step. Because I anticipate us to be extremely busy with next steps. And we're gonna have that program for all of you to leverage. So that's the doctor script. And then all you wanna do is promote, promote, promote the weekly provider webinar. On every weekly provider webinar now, we will be showing the video and the power of the concierge practice. Remember, the door opener is the free program. You cannot go into a doctor and start talking about 4,000, right? You have to kiss them first, right? Okay, before, you, before anything else. And the free program allows you to do that. And that's every Tuesday, and we will be talking as a company to expand the, the number of days available but remember, you will always have 24-7 the ability to send them a recorded version of, of the webinar, okay? And then if a doctor wants to enroll, you send your link, click on provider sign up, right? It's your name, carrynetworks.com. They're in the queue, okay? From my understanding, and maybe Matt could come back on, this, this, um, this does now, this now does exist in the back office. Matt? Yeah, what's the question? This, this does now exist in the back office. The SKU. Like the $4,000 yeah. SKU, does that, does that hold there? Let me look and see. I, I believe it's live, maybe Lisa. I, I believe it's live, I think it's live right now. Okay, because I know I think, we have three or four doctors ready. Ready for, I think it's ready for purchase right now tonight. Okay, perfect. You know, and, and to that point, I, I don't know if you're about to get into it, but one of the, one of the things for people to take away is probably the, uh, the timestamp of, of this um, in, in terms of, you know, how, how to secure the top position in the search rankings, right? I, I don't know if that's going to, if we have more detail on that, but I think that's an important component of this in terms of helping people focus on helping their doctor get the best position possible. Oh, here it is. See it? Here it is, right here, guys. Lisa told me you should click on the link, Jeff, and I said, okay, I will click on the link, honey, and here we go. Get started, instantly connect with your patients, upload, scroll down, doctor says I wanna get started, 
become a registered provider. He wants to just register, boom. He wants to become a preferred provider, boom. I don't, we can't see your, your page right now, but if you, you want can't? to. You can't? No, I, we're looking at the uh, PowerPoint. Share screen. Okay. Hey, you share, if you do the share screen button and then grab that website, you can see it. Yeah, this is going too smooth. Anyway, guys, oh, it's, there. You, though. it's there. Sorry about that. I was doing, I was doing really good. All right. So with that, guys, here's what I want to do. I want to go back to this. And we're going to go down to, I want to go down to this map, slide share from current slide, boom. All right, from, it's not doing the current slide. So anyway, here we go, guys. Here's our map. This is the land grab map. I want you guys to visualize this. Can you see the map? Map? Yes. Okay. This is, this, this is the goal between now and October 1st when we launch. We need to have 2,000 healthcare providers, concierge providers to fill up our map. I think you can maximize your, your screen if you want the map to be bigger for people. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to make it go slideshow from current slide, and it's not doing it for um, some reason. All right. Well, let me do this. Yeah, it's not giving it to me for some reason. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, right. that's, that's the map. We want to fill up our map. When a doctor becomes a preferred provider, the doctors highlight it. And right now, three providers per zip code. Three providers per zip code. And there is a limited number. I'm, I'm telling you, everybody, this is not going to stay at $39.99. In fact, I will just tell you the honest to God truth behind the scenes. I am arguing day and night with Matt that this is too inexpensive. I know a doctor what they will pay for something like this. They will pay $20,000 and above. And I've dealt with doctors for 15 years. This is a limited time to be $39.99. Okay, you're going to say, how limited? Okay. Well, I know without a doubt the first 100 will be guaranteed at $39.99. After 100, the price will go up. Because once the word gets out, okay, a lot of people are going to want to take advantage of this. So that's the program. Matt, do you want to add anything before I play the, the video? No, yeah, I think I'd, I'd add one thing that just looking at the screen we're looking at right now, um, you, you see that there's a fair amount of information there. There's not just two or three doctors in that zip code, right? And so there are going to be people asking, you know, how are we getting there and when and why? We've, we've got data relationships. We've got uh, the whole entire U.S. healthcare system mapped. So there's, there's going to be, you know, an, an endless list of providers the, the question is going to be, how do we get your doctor to surface to the top? It's just like Google, right? We, 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 it's it's, it's the, the, the analog to this is Google. And, and everyone knows that all the business in, in the internet occurs at the top three links. All right. So every company spends their time trying to figure out how to get to the top. And, and that's what, this is a shortcut. And it's a shortcut that allows the doctor to jump from position 248 up to position one, two, or three. And, and the, the way we've, we've, we've built it and programmed it just to simplify things for the, the couple of months in pre-launch is, is that there's a time stamp attached to, to the time that they get it, and that determines whether they're in position one, two, or three. We, we've not put different prices to it. To, to, to Jeff's point earlier, you know, he, he thinks that, that there's a, a much larger number out there that the company should be capturing here and that, that we should all be capturing. If that's true and, and everyone agrees, then, then, then it'll surface and we'll find that, that price and It'll be reflecting in everyone's, you know, earnings capabilities here. But we, we feel like this is a good starting place, and, and those those top three spots are invaluable. Uh, the the doctor that gets those spots is going to be able to preserve it, you know, with that 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 thousand dollars a month. And and for a thousand dollars a month in digital marketing, you get about nothing. I mean, that you can't run an email campaign. So we're doing everything for for a thousand bucks. Yeah, that's that's going to sell out in in hot zip codes pretty quickly. Um, so I mean, I, I, I think you're doing your 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 favorite doctor solid if if you kind of at least mention to them 
that, that there's, a, there's a level of, of opportunity cost um, and that there's a difference between being first and being third also. Hey Matt, does the 999 start when? And oh, that starts in, in, in October when we turn the whole system on nationwide. When? So the 3999 guys, just so you know when you're talking to your doctor is now that secures them and the 999 yeah. starts in October and so does the $99 a month. Yeah, and the, the, the thirty nine ninety nine, you, you could think of it in terms of a waiting list, right? And and getting into position so that assets can be developed. There's a lot of work that goes into creating a promotion strategy for one of these top three doctors in any zip code. And so we've got to put people in the queue so that a whole team, probably thirty or forty people, have to touch that doctor's local positioning in order to optimize it. So it's not going to happen in thirty days. This is a, a 90, 120 day work effort. And, and, you know, across uh, a number of teams and functional areas. So not overnight you get into this position and you start to rank like this. We've got to go to work. Our whole team's going to touch it. And so, you know, people are, are just trying to get in position, get in position, get get number two instead of number three, get number one if you can. And, and, and just so you all know, I'm very, we're all very aware of your questions. We will get those questions answered. Saturday morning we have our training. And I know you all have been waiting for this, so I'm going to announce it tonight. Monday at 6 o'clock is certification number one. Certification number one is Monday at 6 o'clock. Value proposition to provider and patient will be the title of certification number one. And we are rolling out the certification starting Monday night. They will also be recorded. Okay, So if you can't be on live, you will have access to the recorded version of the certification trainings. So with that guys, let me um, stop share. Let me see if I could do this again. I'm gonna try, because I wanna play. Ay, 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 ay. We might just have to say goodbye. <laughs> Matt, I screwed up. Your video. Well, <laughs> Jeff was gonna try and play the video again. From yeah, the that, that, that's a lot for me guys. Hey, you I think you guys, you did amazing. record attendance, Matt, record attendance, and this is awesome. We are here for you to answer your questions, but be on the call Saturday, and we'll see you Monday. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, everyone.